Lift Him Up, September 21 The Plan of Redemption, a Gift Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. God, who is rich in mercy, for His great love wherewith He loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Such are the words in which Paul the aged, a prisoner of Jesus Christ, writing from his prison house at Rome, endeavored to set before his brethren that which he found language inadequate to express in its fullness, the unsearchable riches of Christ, the treasure of grace freely offered to the fallen sons of men. The plan of redemption was laid by a sacrifice, a gift. Says the Apostle, Ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that, though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. And as the crowning blessing of redemption, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Surely there are none that, beholding the riches of grace, can forbear to exclaim with the apostle, Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. As the plan of redemption begins and ends with a gift, so it is to be carried forward. The same spirit of sacrifice which purchased salvation for us will dwell in the hearts of all who become partakers of the heavenly gift. Says the Apostle Peter, As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God said Jesus to his disciples as he sent them forth, Freely ye have received, freely give. In him who is fully in sympathy with Christ, there can be nothing selfish or exclusive. He who drinks of the living water will find that it is in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The Spirit of Christ within him is like a spring welling up in the desert, flowing to refresh all, and making those who are ready to perish eager to drink of the water of life. It was the same spirit of love and self-sacrifice which dwelt in Christ that impelled the Apostle Paul to his manifold labors. I am debtor, he says, both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, 